Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a couple of messages by June Reinke. The first one is titled, Changes and Challenges. You will always face changes and challenges in your life, says the Lord. Don't fret about any of them, for I am aware and on spot to help you with every uncertainty and every new assignment that you have. Don't hang on to the wilted flowers and moldy food, but receive a fresh bouquet that is given to you and eat freely the fresh bread of my presence. Do not hold on to things that are of no value, but look forward to the new as an adventure rather than a dreaded obligation, says the Lord. I want you to discover new things, and although you are uncomfortable, you will soon fit into the places I ordain for your life, says the Lord. I have prepared you for the new. Change is going to happen, and you may view that as good and bad, but all things work together according to the counsel of my own will, and my plans are always good. The steps that I order for you are always right, and the new will be better than the old. Just keep trusting me, and know that I am always with you to help you through the transitions that you must make, and the adjustments that are required that you may grow, develop, mature, advance, and expand according to the perfect plans that I have ordained for your life, and all will be well, says the Lord. And that's the end of that message. And the, the next one, it's titled, Yes, Be Faithful. Focus on your task that I have assigned you to do rather than the distractions, says the Lord. You are empowered to overcome and to fulfill every purpose that I have ordained for you in your life. I have equipped you. I have given you the ability and the resources and the help that you need to succeed as you receive it. Don't dismiss the little things that seem meaningless, for everything counts. I am observing your obedience in the small things as well as the large. I am looking for dependability and faithfulness, says the Lord. Be content with the things that I have given you, and be diligent in all you do for my kingdom and glory. I will use you in greater ways as you remain faithful in the small things. I numbered the hairs on your head, and that may seem insignificant compared to other aspects of your life. So do not discount anything. Be zealous for good works, and all that I have called you to do is important and good. Do what is in front of you to do with all your might, and I will promote you into greater things. Your labor for me is not in vain, and I will reward you openly for the great and the small, because it is faithfulness that I desire, says the Lord. And that is the end of these messages. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please call on him today. Ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. And from then on, have a relationship with him. You all have a great day, and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.